Every time I sit down to paint someone, I feel like it's endless. I feel like I forget how to paint. The materiality of their body gets translated into the materiality of paint. And thinking about a person's face and their body and what it means has tremendous repercussions for how we relate to each other. Each portrait I make might take something from three to eight hours to 10 hours. My whole process is extremely deliberate and slow. Because I'm dealing with real people, they come up with all kinds of surprising things in terms of their personality. And when I'm sitting with them in the interviews I do beforehand, paying them tribute, doing them justice. I hope that comes across with the nuance of color that I choose for their faces. The face is like the one phenomenon that bodes for an interiority. Thinking about who is this person and listening to their story and trying to do them justice. I had no idea before I started this the tremendous amount of labor that goes into running an airport. The port authority, janitorial staff, firefighters, cleaning staff, pilots, the stewardesses. Their face is their first interaction when people come into New York. So how conscious they are of that. The sense of kindness and acts of service that goes beyond their profession. Our job is connections. Not only is it connections in the physical sense of getting you from one destination to another, but it's also connecting with people. How to connect, that's also an art. When we connect with people heart to heart, then we discover each other. I'm the welcoming face they will see to put them at ease. What we do here at LaGuardia is work as a family, as a community, because it's about compassion. There's a lot of people that are backing me up to be able to complete the flight and to make it successful. My work is about the everyday people that work, the labor that it takes to put together an airport and putting a face to all that labor. I grew up in Mexico City where there was murals by Diego Rivera and Orozco and Siqueiros, huge public murals that were really about informing the public about the history of Mexico. That was what most informed my work growing up. All these modes of transport in New York allow you to come face to face with people that you might not otherwise. And I think that's what the airport and these public spaces do. They face you with all kinds of people that you have to share space with. When we're seen as faceless on social media, we can start to be aggressive in some ways. But when people see a body and a face, I think their sense of responsibility to each other is much, much more heightened. This is the first time that I'll have my work permanently in a public space. What I wish people would take away is kind of what it means to spend time with somebody over a long period of time what it means to sit with somebody and really get a sense of their humanity and perhaps the nuance of their identity or their personality as well. <laughs>